A nutrient management plan, abbreviated NMP, is a framework for protecting water quality while maximizing crop or forage production through wise use of poultry litter resources. An NMP may be part of a regulatory program, a requirement of a cost share program, or simply a personal tool for making the best manure, fertilizer, and mortality decisions on a farm. The best NMP is one that the producer is closely involved in creating, since an NMP plans for and documents the site-specific solutions to manure, fertilizer management, and water quality protection. An NMP basically has three parts, and all are custom and specific to an individual poultry operation. First is the background information and supporting data, calculated application rates of fertilizer and manure, and a descriptive site map. The second part is the description of the physical best management practices and facilities involved with litter, manure, and mortality management. The third and final component includes the records documenting the plan has been followed and providing information for adaptive management. With manure nutrient inventories, soil and yield-based application rates, and a site map in hand, implementation will begin with actual application of litter in the right places at the best time. Application timing should be based on the best crop utilization. Since nitrogen and litter will slowly become available, this is often before a crop is sown, or on forage or pasture prior to a seasonal growth spurt. Application timing is also about when not to apply, such as in cold, rainy or snowy seasons, when no crop is being grown, or forage has already produced for the season. This final recommendation is subject to site-specific issues, as it may be fine in some places to apply before snow, as crops or forage will start growing as the snow melts, while in other places it may be illegal to apply over frozen ground or snow-covered ground. In southern latitudes, pasture and hay fields may be overseeded with cool season grasses. Applications should be timed just before the seasonal forage will enter a growth spurt. Finally, immediate weather should be considered when application time approaches. Avoid applying when wet weather is imminent. This can waste nutrients and pose environmental risk through runoff or leaching and post-rain odor due to volatilization. Social concerns should also be considered in timing of litter application. Poultry production is often embedded in a landscape of multiple uses. Consider neighbor relations, public events, and private functions when preparing to apply. It is a good idea to give the neighbors a heads up, as you don't want to apply when the neighbor is about to host a family reunion or a wedding reception. Delaying to avoid conflict is an important good faith effort, as some odor is unavoidable. Most litter will be surface broadcast from a spreader truck or trailer your application rate calculations would have accounted for nitrogen volatilization inherent to surface application. If a phosphorus risk loss analysis or P index was included in the field budget, you should also have an idea of field edge buffers in place to minimize P loss from a field. Litter applications should be set back from surface waters. Farming may occur closer to the water feature, but manure should not be applied within 100 feet of the feature if the ground is tilled. If the area is continuously grassed or vegetated, manure should not be applied within 35 feet of the water feature. Best Management Practices, or BMPs, are the additional activities or structures related to the plan that help prevent loss of nutrients and runoff from the production and land application areas. These may include clean water diversions, upslope of the stacking areas, field edge and water's edge buffers previously described, roof gutters on stacking sheds, and grass waterways and fields. Some BMPs may be related to more detailed analysis, planning, processing, and management of resources. They may include additional timing considerations, additional crop tests for alternate application rates, or litter treatment and processing. Most NMP templates prompt a producer to list these BMPs. Mortality management should take place in a permanent incinerator designated composting shed, or approved burial site. This should be briefly described in the plan itself. Additionally, a catastrophic or depopulation mortality plan should be described in the emergency measures component of an NMP. Record keeping is fundamental to the NMP and demonstrates that the plan is being followed. The records also offer a great deal of management information and provide liability protection against complaints or watershed investigations. 
Compliant records should include manure and soil tests, field budget calculations, actual amounts of manure applied per field and when, wind and precipitation events, spreader calibrations, manure exports, whether sold, bartered, or given away, maintenance or monitoring of storage facilities, and mortality records. Many state extension services have record keeping templates in print or electronically to manage these records. Public and private software packages are also available that manage plans and records. All of these records will inform the annual report often required in permit NMPs. If an annual report is required, a template will be provided by the regulatory agency, as will annual notification. The records will also be a focal point of any official inspection. Good records verify good management. Good records also will influence future decision making and recalculation of application rates and crop nutrient needs in the future. This message was brought to you by the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. Funding for this video was provided by the International Poultry Expo. Please support our exhibitors and we invite you to attend.